Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Today we have the first top 10 of the new year and we start with the top 10 wheeled hoverboard. In the 10th position we start with some uh, honorable mentions because I didn't find a proper tent machine to use. So I wanted to show you some of the machines I will add uh, I hope in the next list that now are uh, still under development. The first one is the Russian 2S35. It's a 152mm and it's practically a wheeled version of their uh, tracked howitzer. Uh, the second one is the EVA. It's a truck mounted 155mm howitzer made in Slovak. And the last one is the Centauro 155mm. It's based on the standard Centauro but with the new Howitzer turret. And now we can finally start with the Israel Atmos 2000. It's in the ninth position and we know it's being produced from 2001. It has a crew of 5 people and a weight of 22 tons. It can reach a speed of 80 km per hour and a range of 1000 km. The truck has uh, six wheels, while the main gun is a 155mm L52. We have 27 rounds, uh, they can fire all the standard NATO shells with the addition of rocked uh, assisted uh, shells. The resupply time is 10 minutes, the loader is completely automatic and it has a rate of 5 of uh, 5 RPM. And it has also the multiple round uh, impact capability of uh, 2 rounds. The number 8 is the Turkey Yavuz, I hope the name is spelled right. Uh, it's being produced from 2002, it has have a crew of 5 just like the one before. Uh, the new track variant, the one you are watching now, it's being produced from 2017. It has a weight of uh, 30 tons, the suspension is uh, 6 wheels and it can reach a speed of 90 km per hour with a range of 600 km. The gun is a 155mm L52. It can fire all the NATO standard shell and has 48 rounds. The fire range is 30 km with the standard shell and 40 km with the rocket assisted shell. The rate of fire is 4 or 6 per minute. The resupply time is 15 minutes and the loader is completely automatic. And the multiple round impact for this one is 3 rounds. At the seventh spot we have the Slovakian Zuzana. It's being produced from 1998. It has a crew of three and the latest version, the Zuzana 2, is being produced from 2011. The cost is less than 3 million. It's a very good price. The weight is 32 tons. The suspension is an 8 wheels and uh, it can reach a speed of 80 km and a range of 650 km. It's one of the most advanced machines in the list and can use all the NATO standard ammunition. The main weapon is a 155mm L52, also for this one, with 40 rounds. The fire range is 30 km with the standard shell and 41 km with the rocket assisted shell. The loader is completely automatic and it can reach a rate of fire with 6 rounds per minute with 2 rounds MRSI. The number 6 is the PLL09 by China. It's a machine we have seen before in the previous APC and IFV list. It's the same Norinco chassis with the Howitzer turret. It has a crew of 3 people, a cost of less than 3 million, and it's being produced from 2009. In this moment you are watching the APC version, but here you can check some photos about the Howitzer turret. In this configuration the total weight is 36 tons, 
It has the same 8 wheel suspension and it can reach a speed of 90 km per hour and a range of 700 km. The new turret can be both a 155mm or a 122mm. In the 155mm configuration it can fire mostly the same shells of the tracked version. It has 30 rounds, the reloading time is 8 minutes and the fire rate is 6 or 8 RPM. It has a multiple round impact of 4 rounds, very important. In the fifth position we have the France Caesar. It's being produced from 1994, but the latest version, the 8 wheels one that you are watching now, it's being produced from 2015. It's a really new and awesome update. It has a crew of three people, a weight of 30 tons, 8 wheels as a suspension as I said before, and it can reach a speed of 90 km per hour. The range is 600 km. The gun is again a 155mm L52. It can fire, of course, all the NATO standard shell, but also many other kind of shells for uh, different tasks. The fire range is 34 km with the standard shell, 42 with the ARFB uh, shell, and 55 with the rocket assisted shell. The resupply time is about 10 minutes. The loader is completely automatic, and you are watching it now in this moment. And uh, it has uh, 6 rounds per minute as a fire rate and the three rounds MRSI. The number four is the Nora B-52 from Serbia. It's being produced from 2006. It has a crew of four people and the cost is only 1.8 million. It's really cheap for this kind of machine. The latest upgrade, the Alexander, was made in 2017. The weight is only 25 tons, also this one is quite light for this kind of machine. 8 wheels as a suspension, it can reach a speed of 90 km per hour and a range of 500 km. The main gun is the usual 155mm smoothbore gun. It can fire all the NATO standard shell and also rocket assist shells. The standard shells have a range of 33 km, while the rocket assists 56 km of range. The resupply time is 9 minutes. The loader is completely automatic and the rate of fire is 6 RPM. It has 36 rounds, 12 of them are ready to use inside the turret, and a multiple round impact of 4 rounds. And now we start the top 3 with another old friend, the German Boxer. Like the previous Chinese machine, we have seen him in the previous uh, uh, APC and IFV list. It's the same chassis with the new Howitzer turret, being produced from 2017, with a unit cost of about 5 million. In the Howitzer version, the weight is about 35 tons. It does have the same 8 wheels chassis, a speed of 100 km per hour, and a range of 1000 km. Here you can see the boxer chassis with the howitzer turret, while here we have the turret alone in action on uh, a tracked chassis. The turret is the artillery gun module, 155mm by rain metal. It has 30 rounds, 12 of them are ready to use inside the turret. It has a very big range of shells, like the Excalibur or the standard NATO shells. The fire range is 41 km for the standard shells and 56 for the rocket assisted shells. The resupply time is 12 minutes. The loader is semi automatic and the rate of fire is 6 or 8 rounds per minute. The multiple round impact is 5 rounds. At the second spot, we have the South African G6 Rhino. It's being produced from 1999. It has a crew of five people and the latest upgrade was made in 2004. The cost is a little more than 3 million. With a weight of about 50 tons, it is the heaviest machine in this list. The suspension is still a six wheels. It can reach a speed of 80 km per hour and a range of 700 km despite the weight. The main gun is a 155L52 smoothbore gun with 47 rounds, it can fire all the NATO standard shell, Excalibur, Vlep, and also this time we have a very good choice of shells. The fire range is 33 km with the standard shell, 42 with the RFB, 
and 76 kilometers with the rocket assist at the shell. It's a real record, and in some tests it reached even 73 kilometers. The resupply time is about 10 minutes, the loader is semi-automatic, the rate of fire is 6 RPM, and the multiple round impact is 5 rounds at 25 kilometers. And today the winner is the Swedish Archer in the first position. It's being produced from 2006, but the latest version entered in service in 2016, with a unit cost of 4.5 million. It has a weight of 30 tons, it's a 6 wheels suspension, it can reach a speed of 70 km per hour and a range of 500 km. The 155mm smoothbore gun have 40 rounds, 20 of them are ready to use inside the turret, and it can fire all the NATO standard shell, Excalibur, Bonus, Hifrag, and many other kind of shells. The fire range is 30 km with the standard shell, 40 with the rocket assisted shell, and 60 km with the precision guided extended range shells. The resupply time is only 8 minutes, the loader is completely automatic and has a rate of fire of 8 or 9 rounds per minute. The multiple rounds impact is 6 rounds, and in this moment is the best wheeled howitzer available in the world. Hey guys, the first top 10 of the year is finished, so it's time for some talk. I know some of you do not enjoy my voiceover in the video, but the last poll talks clear, my voiceover won, so I keep like this until the things change. As always, you can vote in the right up corner for the next top 10 and also for my voiceover if you want to keep it or not. If you liked the video, please leave a like, leave a comment if you have a suggestion or questions or just want to say hi. Remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and click on the bell to receive the notification when I upload a new video. However, as always, you can find something new every Saturday. So, see you next Saturday with a new video. Bye!